everyone. My name is Wendy Beck and I'm from Lice Doctors and this is my partner Karen Sokoloff. And today's subject that we're going to talk about is where does lice come from? We, we are always getting asked this question, does it come from trees? Does it come from dirt? Where exactly do they come from, Karen? Okay, lice have been around for thousands of years. Uh, in fact, Recently, you may have read in the paper uh, that uh, some scrolls were found in the Dead Sea and among the items, the artifacts that were found was a lice comb and it actually had a small knit in the knit comb. So we know that that was from 2000, almost 2000 years ago. So lice have been around for, for many, many years and they affixed to the hair of human beings. Lice have mutated over the years, so probably before humans were around, they were on animals. But now, lice have mutated to the point where, where they are species specific. So a louse that you would find on a human is different, is distinct from a louse that you would find on a dog or a cat. Um, so lice come from the hair, uh, uh, they come from someone else's head over to your head. And that louse, the species, originated thousands of years ago. Okay, now where do the actual knits come from? Can you catch a knit? No, you cannot. So um, we get asked that question a lot. Lice can only survive on the human head. They need the warmth and they need the blood. Blood is their food supply. So uh, a louse, will reside on your head, right on the scalp, and it gets to the scalp by climbing, using your hair as a ladder, and it will climb. So if you have head lice and your hair is near my hair, ah. then a louse will climb down your hair, onto my hair, and then up to the scalp in order to get its food. That louse will not live off of the head for very long, not more than a few hours. So you're not gonna catch lice in your house. You're not gonna catch lice uh, on a couch. Uh, um, it's very unlikely because the louse immediately starts to weaken as soon as it leaves your head and it will die within, within hours when it's off of your head. Yeah, that's a good reason to teach your children about personal space because if they're hugging each other and playing with each other, they're gonna get lice from their friends. Exactly and right. That's what you know. we want to avoid here. Now a knit, which is the louse egg, a knit, you cannot catch a knit. And knit why is that? Knits are glued to the hair, so okay. a knit will be glued to your hair at an angle, and it will be most likely right up at the top of the hair within, um, within an inch. Once, if you start finding knits, down at the bottom, that means that you've had your case for a long time and the knits, which are glued to the hair, have grown out with the hair. The knit has to be near the top of the head because that's where the temperature is optimal. Um, and a knit is glued, it's cemented to the hair so it's not going to fall off and then you walk along, sit someplace and that knit somehow miraculously jumps onto your hair. That cannot happen. So. A, knits don't fall off the hair very easily. B, if somehow it gets knocked off the hair, it's defunct. So you don't have to worry about catching a knit. The only way you're gonna get a case of lice is to catch a, is for a live bug to crawl into your hair. Okay, thank you for the explanation. And I think that covers our subject today. Um, if you have any questions, you can always call us at 800-224-2537 or look us up online at lifestoctors.com.